that. You know, I'm gonna. There's got. I need a hype hyper cardioid. Are there any of these that are? Are there any of these that are hyper cardioid? You know what I mean? Where it won't. Well, actually, for the purpose of today and more videos, I'm gonna do this cardio. Hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on. Me mute it for a sec. In the SpongeBob movie, you know, there's a fish that has a thing out. Like, anyway, so this is. Here are, this is very valuable information. You're, people might think it's not, but it is. Remember in Led Zeppelinberg, so many, if not most of the songs are built around a rift. You know, a lot of other songs and bands, there's typically just like a, a melodic scheme like da, ba, 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 da, da, ba, ba, ba. With Zeppelin, it's like da, 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 da. Right? Right? Okay. So what I want to do is the examples I just used. If you can, now this is kind of cool because you guys can hear the drums. But you can also hear me talking. You know, there might be a few pops and stuff. Sorry. There's got to be some sort of a device that can depopify it, it detects him like on the screen but check this out so what what you can do is we'll take whole lot of love for example loop just the da da ba da 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 When you do that, when you sit and sort of lock in, remember yourself. Remember, when we practice, you can spend time doing this. So many of us are ADD or ADHD, as am I. You don't realize, again, as I've always said, after like 10 seconds, you're like, da, 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 da. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 oh, yeah, all right, well, that was great. You have to sit and sort of get in the zone. Remember, Stuart Copeland, a lot of, many drummers who are wise know to sometimes sit and practice time. Instead of practicing paradiddles just all the time and practicing your favorite fills, you sit and just practice time. So you literally, drummers sometimes will just be like. Okay, well, what we do is with Zeppelinville, a great way to submerge yourself into the feel and the groove is to just pick one of the basic juicy Zeppelin melodic guitar paradigms. Remember, Jimmy Page and Bonham, even though Jimmy, John Bonham and John Paul Jones were really a tight rhythm, bad bass drum scene, Jimmy Page, so much of Zeppelin was the interplay between Page and Bonham. Bonham and Page used to sort of dance around each other, which was terrific, okay? Listen again. Listen to the vinyl No Quarter from 1973, the release of 1976, the movie soundtrack. So again, a whole lot of love. So I'll sit now. You can do stuff like this. Remember, you don't have to stick. You can stick with the feel of the original, like the groove. But you can put in other Bonham-type things. So... Well, let me sing it, okay? I'll do it the whole time. Because sometimes, like, some people will have to sing it the whole time. Other times you can just get it in your head. But just sit and say, all right, well, for the next 15 minutes, I'm going to do this. And I'm dead serious here, even though I was fooling around there. It's really important because you, you're working on your time and your feel and also relaxing. 
especially sometimes if you play a little ahead of the beat, like I'm more of an on top of the beat kind of person, and I've really been working on really trying to relax and play more relaxed and sort of in more of a, a, a relaxed pocket, like. Instead of. Do you hear the difference? That's on top of the beat, the other one is. Okay? So, but remember in Bonneville, that's generally how Bonham played. So a whole lot of love. You can go like berserker with it. But just again, practice, you can practice the turnaround. You know what I mean? It's really cool because it puts you in the in the in the mojo. And you'll and, and especially in Zeppelinville, you start to think of things that Bonham did. And then occasionally you'll think of like the stuff that fills in like the actual whole lot of love. Okay? Even though that's not what he did. Okay, so like for cashmere too, this one's helpful too. So uh na na uh uh you can you can practice it. It's good. Now I'm dead serious here, with your like uh, good times, bad times triplets. Uh, okay, so all right, so here we go. Let me just demonstrate for the love of the Christ. Uh, seriously, remember his birthday's coming up. Okay, so uh, 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 no, we're on cashmere. Da na 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 ba ba da da. You know what I'm saying? See, you know, part of what's happening here is the the act of observing is disturbing the observed. So let me pretend like the camera's there. I mean, like it's not there. Okay? Okay? Now, typically, obviously, when I do this, I'm not singing it. I'm just hearing it in my head. I just hold it in my head. So, like this. You can practice really all because it'll it'll force you to keep it in a groove in time. Okay? Now all right, so cashmere's a good one, whole lot of love. You can do when the levy breaks. So remember, I don't have a Binson Echo wreck in here. Ah, there's the go. So anyway, so And I'll sing it. If you want, you can say Bonham instead. Bonham, 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 Bonham. Ah, do you get the idea? See, I'm, I'm, I'm. See, as silly as this sounds, hopefully I just didn't break my 
really deep ocean fish tra thing light apparatus. So do you know what I'm saying? I'm serious. This really does work. And you obviously, you don't necessarily have to do it with, with Zeppelin stuff, okay? Like if you're a police guy or person, you can do it like man in a suitcase. You know what I'm saying? Or like I did before the Eagles. Just a rat. Uh, eagles. Oh, uh, uh. oh, 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 Now, but now, I'm putting this in a comical context, kind of. But this stuff really is helpful because. Oh, wait, how come it didn't answer? Oh, because I, well, I will let that go. Don't they know I'm in the middle of a video? All right, so, but you, now I'm serious here, especially in Bonhamville. So I'll, here we are, back to Bonhamville. So you have a whole lot of love. Cashmere, when the levee breaks, okay? Wanton Song is a good one. Ooh, don't forget those. He does that. Da, da, uh, uh. Oh, by the way, you gotta check out Virtual Zeppelin's The Wanton Song. I gotta put the preview up on my channel. I, I, I haven't gotten around to that, but I have to. So, so it's hard, I mean, do you know what I'm saying? So, and what's a couple other ones? I mean, there's tons of them. Like, if you want to practice, what I've been really trying to do to get my left hand up and running, but also to play rock and roll properly, is just sitting for a long time and doing this. So, da da And into this. So I'll just sit and go, uh, two, one. What I'm trying to do now is sort of, sorry for pausing, but I'm trying to just stabilize my left hand a little. Because it has a mind of its own. You know what I'm saying? So, but I'll just really stay here. Been a long time since I ride. Uh, 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 uh. Now what I'm doing here, and I'll say here right like this, and it's funny when I play rock and roll like this, I can't help but think of Jess Greenberg. Do you ever see Jess Greenberg on YouTube? Look her up. She's a musician. She's very attractive. I don't know if she makes videos anymore, but when I play it like this, I can't help but been a long time since I rock. Like she plays it sort of like that. Like she has a guitar. Uh, 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 a long time since I book a look, okay? But so that's what I'm really trying to do with my left hand. Now, me personally, instead of really more thinking about the time or a fill, I'm using a different dimension here. I'm really thinking about relaxing my arms and focusing on hopefully any delicacy with my left hand. Now, this is a lot different than most people in bottom play it. Bottom hitter and most very good drummers have a very, look at that shake. See, I have a familial tremor. But have a very light touch, like they literally kind of just go like this the whole time. I mean, I can't even do that. You know who does this beat really well? You know that drummer, Steven Taylor? Look up Steven Taylor here on YouTube if you haven't seen him. He's a great drummer. He's a channel like, you know, there's drummers like us that have channels like Rob Brown. And uh, do you know what I'm saying? But so what I'm working on is this. And sometimes I'll keep the the hi-hat close just to, and I'll play it a little slower. And I'll bring in the quarter note on the. 
bass drum. But then I try to get, like, this is something, this is a personal thing I'm working on. So I'm bringing my, my grip up. I'm trying to, as I play, play a little further up here. Bringing the volume down. And then what's important is, is really then focusing on the whole kind of thing, me being like this, almost molary. Hang on. And then bringing that up in the tempo. The whole time in my head, I'll be going, da da Okay? So that's probably not a good example, but that's the one that for me I'm working on. And then um, there's two other Zeppelin tunes that are really good too. Like Since I've Been Loving You is a really good one to think of for like your 6 8 time, your 12 8. <laughs> You know, I mean, and I'm serious though. My point is, it's just getting like a paradigm or a basic riff. Remember, Jimmy Page was the master of riffs. And just getting it in your head, you can sing it out loud. Singing it out loud is really helpful because that'll really help you sometimes with your meter. But usually I just put it in my head so. Da, 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 nah, like this. around it a little that really helps you with your meter and stuff so I do hope this was helpful more videos on the way I'm going in the studio very soon to finish up some stuff I've this is gonna be I think my next record I'm not kidding I think it'll be pretty good I think it'll be really good it'll be it'll have mojo thank you for watching I did get some more of the black Bonzolium University t-shirts in I saw medium large extra large 2XL, 3XL, and 1,4XL left. So shoot me emails about anything. If you want to talk about stuff, ask questions about this or something you saw or whatever, bonzolium at gmail.com. Thank you for watching.